Hello and welcome back to On the Workbench. This is the final follow-up in my part in my multi-part series about my craftsman lathe. Uh, back earlier this winter, uh, Sears Craftsman and following up uh, with my lathe issues, which you can see in my other two videos, uh, finally end up sending out a technician to take a look at the lathe. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why they did that because the technician guy, he came out and visited me in my shop. Uh, we had a nice delightful little chat um, about my lathe and the lathe parts. He went over the lathe diagram that uh, I've uh, laid out before and all the issues with it and uh, he called up his people and looked up on his computer trying to come up with the parts that I couldn't come up with uh, through Sears uh, Parts Direct. And uh, he came up with the same dead ends that I did um, and then suggested that if I wanted to get a refund uh, on the other parts that I bought, that I should try to at least take it up to uh, to other levels of management. Um, it seems like that's probably going to be much more hassle than what's actually worth of my time to do that. So I probably just end up eating the cost of that just as the cost of doing business, um, or at least of trying to get this lathe put together. Um, the gentleman was very delightful, um, and he uh, he did end up taking back one of the extra parts they sent me. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, but whatever. Uh, it's rightfully there. They sent it to me, and there was an error. Um, so that's the right thing to do. Um, whenever he showed up, I thought it was interesting the van said A&E Service, which I guess is the new brand for uh, Sears Household Service. Rather than having the Sears brand, uh, they've changed the name on that. Um and in talking to this guy, it sounds like a lot of the warranty work that he does is actually on lawnmowers and small engines more so than tools. He didn't seem to have a very uh, strong knowledge about exactly how to repair tools because I guess uh, there are very few tools these days that Craftsman sells that qualify uh, for the free in-home service uh, other than a, the large bandsaw, table saw, uh, this lathe, uh, and maybe a couple other uh, older tools, but there's not many floating around. Uh, any more that are still sold that uh, are at the right price point to be able to qualify for home service. So uh, he generally deals more with uh, snow blowers, uh, weed eaters, lawn mowers, garden tractors, and problems associated with those. And I guess more so the garden tractors that people can't take in and return in the store. But um, he wasn't of any more use to me than what I already knew. And I felt like I already knew more uh, and ha uh, having done my research on Sears Parts Direct and talked to the folks before. I guess they're just a formality, so at this point, I'm just going to go case closed. I've got it fixed. It works now. I'm on to building my lathe stand, and I hope you found this useful. Uh, the guy was delightful and uh, nice to chat with. If I actually had to pay for his visit, it would have been a waste of my money because I knew more than he did. Um, and I guess it would have came out to being somewhere around about 250 bucks for the value of the visit. Um, he tried claiming that all that, and I'm like, I don't really care because it was all covered by my warranty. So if you're in the market for Sears Parts Direct Service, um, their rates are probably well much higher than what they actually need to be, but the guy was nice, so I guess I can say that, and maybe your luck might vary with a different technician that might be more knowledgeable or practical of being able to solve the problem, but uh, as far as my thoughts going forward, I still think I'm better off if I can do the research myself on Sears Parts Direct or other manufacturer websites and get the parts myself than what some other technician guy will be that would want to charge way too much uh, money for his time. Um, and isn't able to do the research as well as I can. So I'm just going to stick with the method that I'm doing. And I got my free service out of them. It was a waste of my time, but I exhausted all my options, and that's just the story on how this parts goes. So now I'm done fiddling with my lathe. It's on the build and the lathe stand, and time to get cracking. Hope you found this useful, and have a great day. Bye.